Today's video is on the Basmani rainbow fish. Rainbow fish have been growing in popularity and I foresee them being the next like cool fish to keep and probably growing in popularity surpassing a lot of the fish in the industry because um, number one, the, their mentality is just so nice. Like this is such a nice schooling, shoaling fish and their body type is uh it's it's a it's almost like a silver dollar they have a tall elongated body and they get four to six inches long and uh they have such vibrant colorations it's essentially like a guppy fish except it's a lot larger and you get more of you know with a larger fish it's more vibrant and just it just makes a community tank just scream god look at the vein in my neck i'm just getting so pumped up I'm, I'm looking to take the dive into getting some Basmani rainbows. And I was looking at them at the fish store yesterday. They're a little pricey and I did my research. You really have to watch where you're buying them from. Um, if you're doing research, I'm sure you've come across Gary Lang. He's like the Jesus of breeders. Not all of us are gonna be able to afford to buy from Gary Lang. So it's worth talking about what you should look for when buying your Basmani rainbow fish at a pet store. Uh, the coloration is going to be big. Um, it's tough too because you can save some money when buying them smaller in size, but you just don't really know how good the, the fish is until seeing that coloration. Let's take a look at some super cool Basmani tank setups and just how vibrant and colorful these beautiful fish are. I've been completely obsessed. Um, Steenfod Aquatics, he, uh, I've been watching some of his videos, he is a rainbow connoisseur and I'm kind of getting in the same mentality because it's easy to just fall in love and understand why these fish are just becoming so popular. <sighs> okay, I gotta breathe, I gotta breathe. I get excited about these videos guys, like I try to amplify how much I love these fish, but the videos, it's its just hard, it's hard, and I just get so, so pumped up. Let's take a look at these tanks. All right, the Bosmanian rainbow fish is a medium to difficult fish keeper level fish. Um, what makes it tough is they really like pristine, clean water, and that's what you gotta watch for. It's really common for people to keep them in planted tanks because number one, planted tanks are usually super low on nitrates because the plants are eating it obviously and second because they need a lot of hiding spots and as you can see in this tank uh, there aren't a lot of hiding spots their natural habitat is full of a lot of plants and coverage and I highly advise you do that in the tank some people find that it's completely okay not to have a lot of coverage but they really appreciate it but other than that, that's really the only thing that makes them a little more difficult. And if you don't have live plants, what you maybe want to do is just over filtrate the water or maybe do more water changes than usual. That's really the only thing that makes them any different because as far as accepting water parameters, they are very hardy and adaptable as far as that. But uh, the nitrate levels is what you need to watch mainly. As far as feeding them, they are super easy. Um, they are omnivores and they you're going to need both sides. You're going to need some protein with some brine shrimp, brine shrimp blood worms, etc. And maybe supplement in some flakes, generic uh, tropical flakes will do fine. As far as a tank size, you should not buy any less than five or six of these fish. They like to be in schools, shoaling. Um, they're, they're super vibrant fish, as you can see, and it would be a complete waste not to get a bunch of them. I always tell people to buy 10 of them. Don't hold back and buy three of them. Just buy 10 of them. Yes, they are kind of expensive, but it's an extremely cool investment, especially when you have a community tank like this. They're commonly kept with other general tropical community fish. Uh, try to stick away from cichlids because these are super well-mannered, nice fish like tetras, platys, live bears, tiger barbs, uh, any kind of barbs, other rainbows. You really don't have to watch the aggression with other rainbows. Um, the males are gonna be a lot more, they're gonna have the more vibrant coloration. And like I said, 
uh, if you're try to look for a healthy fish you can kind of tell just by the finnage if it's structured out nicely and um, a trick that I learned um, from the real fish talk podcast is to like if you're trying to test uh, try to replicate the water at your fish store and a trick to do this Joel Christensen was talking about it on the podcast uh, bring a test tube vial with you and just when when the employee isn't looking dip it in the rainbow tank at the fish store and then go up to the employee and say hey can you test my water and just act like it's your water but it's actually their water and you can bring that home and just try to replicate it in your tank. Chances are, because you're close to the fish store within a mile radius or so, a couple miles or so, uh, that your water is going to be um, super similar. I thought that was a super cool trick. I want to get a shout out to Joel Christensen. That's a, uh, you have some awesome videos. I love your guys' podcast. I love what you're doing. Um, if you want to check out their podcast, Real Fish Talk, it's called... Um, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to comment. This is my Q&A channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, um, go ahead and do so. Hopefully this video helped you take care of your Basmani rainbow fish care and just setting up your Basmani rainbow fish aquarium, etc. All right, cool, cool, guys. Thanks. Oh, and by the way, one more thing. I want to give a shout out to all the locals. I'm asking for a favor. I know a bunch of you get local guys follow my channel. If you guys find good deals on aquariums, uh, somewhat local to me, uh, just give me a Facebook message, a shout out, because as you guys know, I'm starting up the store and I need as many tanks as possible, preferably like 20 gallon talls or 40 breeders, but I'm just looking to hoard as many as possible because I'm going to be drilling them all and setting them up in the racking system, um, etc. A lot of you local guys are a ton of help, so you are awesome. And shout out to my local fish store, friends and friends, love you guys. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, let's take a look at these electric blue Dempseys. A bunch of you guys have been asking me about them. They're doing great, still super timid fish, but doing great. I have them with a blood parrot and also a small little tiny jag cichlid. So um, everything's going good here in the fish room. Um, for you locals, I'll also probably have some rainbow cichlid fry soon. Not, rain, not regular rainbows, but rainbow cichlids. I know that's a little different of a topic, but um, there's some Basmani rainbow fish at the fish store right now. They're like 12 bucks a piece, I think. I might be able to talk them down a little. Uh, I don't know, should I make the dive? Should I not? Should I, should I, should I? I need to set up a planted tank and just go balls deep with plants and do it. <sighs> All right, guys.